Atlanta Olympics, seven women came together with one moment that punctuated everything as magnificent. No American gymnastics team, men or women, has won a team gold medal in a fully attended Olympics. Take a look at history. Four years later, the Sydney Olympics were a disaster, a signal that the USA system needed to be changed. And it was. By 2004 in Athens, the results were clear. The team won a silver medal, proving to themselves they can do this. And there was a golden girl. Reasons to celebrate. The Olympics must have seemed so far away 10 years ago. Now it's a tangible goal. Beijing, 2008. These aren't baby steps anymore. This is the next one they must take at the national championship. Welcome to the U.S. National Championship, the Visa Championships, the first of two nights in competition. Nasta Liuk in last year won this national championship, and you know the way this sport goes. That was great. Now do it again. That's her gold medal winning dad, Valeri Liukin. And there's Chelsea Memel. She brings her smile back. The world champion from 2005. She proved herself when the United States needed help in the breach two years before that. Now she's got to come back from two shoulder injuries. That's her dad. Can you imagine being the coach of a teenage gymnast at this level? But we'll start things off with Alicia Sacramoni. She has also proven herself in the world championships, winning floor exercise. But in this sport, it's all about the Olympics. She actually had a shot, a very good shot, of being part of that 2014. Certainly had the ability, a tremendous athlete, but just wasn't time. Her coach, Mihai Breschian, said it was like a tsunami. Everything just came a little bit too fast. And Tim, she agrees that mentally she was too young, didn't have the experience. She said now it's her time, having all these World Cup experiences, winning medals. Her confidence is at an all-time high. She truly is a powerhouse, though. Three events, beam, floor, and vault. She's world-class, sometimes, well, usually struggles on the uneven bars. But remember, nowadays, you do not have to have the full complement. You don't have to be an all-around gymnast to be part of a world or Olympic team. She fits that build, regardless of the weakness on the uneven bars. And you'll notice her style on balance beam. She's very sure of herself, very aggressive. Her leaps, her acrobatic skills, they're very difficult, very high. She's really improved on this particular event, and I can see what she's talking about. Her confidence is definitely there. Great dismount. with her coach, Mihai Breschen. And for those of you who have forgotten, the 10-0 is gone. So we're gonna see a bizarre number. Okay. Somewhere in a 15-0 range is about the equivalent of a 9-2, somewhere around there. That's Tim Daggett, Elfie Schlegel, Al Trowick, Andrea Joyce is also patrolling the floor as we get back to Chelsea Memel. And you know, we're looking at young women who are going to be roughly 20 when the Beijing Olympics hit. You never know if that's going to be biologically right. You just don't know. And Al, this is a big question mark for Chelsea. She has not started training bars since August 1st. She's been off for three months with that shoulder uh, injury that you mentioned. Her dad said she, he had to ground her from this event in order for that injury to heal. He's wearing a microphone for us today. Well, so far, this is, this is just like Chelsea always does. Her climax yeah. of the routine right there. Beautiful jam to handstand. Yeah. Wow, they couldn't be any happier with that. I'll tell you, that was remarkable. <laughs> I knew you could do that. Is that fun? <laughs> okay. All right. 
Every hey, mom or job. dad that has a teenager can relate to how tough that is. Alicia Sacramoni, and there you go, Tim. 15.3. What does that mean? <laughs> well, that that's a good score. Somewhere, uh, I would say, between 9.2 to 9.4. It equates to about that. It's really bizarre. Nowadays, you have... You have a, an execution score that starts out of a 10, and you take deductions from that, and then a difficulty score where it's additive. Put those two together, you have your total score. So basically what people need to look for is one score is what you do in your routine, the other score is basically how well you perform it. Here's Nastia Liukin, the defending national champion. Her long, lean lines. Here comes her first tumbling run. Three elements in a row. Perfect. Tim, how good was her dad? Oh, God. He, you know what? He, he's one of my heroes. He was one of the all-time greats. Really, the first athlete to do what was unthinkable. It's, it's basically unthinkable even now. A triple back on the floor exercise. He did it, he did it decades ago. <laughs> so... But these lines that you're seeing from Nastia come from her mom, Anna, who is actually a world-class rhythmic gymnast. You can't help but notice the execution. This is where she is going to get a tremendous score, not to mention very difficult moves. But what she does in between all the acrobatic skills is so difficult, I can't even tell you. The pointing of the feet, the stretched legs, very hard dance. And we should re-emphasize, mom and Come dad on, are both products of the old Soviet system. If you had whispered in their ears back in the day, hey, one day you're going to have a daughter and she's going to go for the U.S. National Championship, right. you could have knocked them over with a feather. Good job, Nick. That's awesome. Awesome. Good job. A little too tight on the ring, Jim. But that was, that was it. Triple four was... Just a tiny bit. Good job, babe. Good job, babe. Today, Always this coaching. dream is being cultivated in Texas. You know, they're looking for perfection. That's what he's talking to her about. Always looking at the tiniest thing that the average person probably couldn't even see. And the judges didn't see any deductions. You see that 9.6 in execution? They didn't just make the elements harder, but they also made the deductions more stringent. That's a huge number. Compare it to Chelsea Memel's 9.1, which is a good exercise. Defending a national championship is not an easy thing, but right now, Nasi Liukin is in front at the Visa Championships. Night one of the 2006 Visa Championships are brought to you in part by Visa, proud sponsor of America's Olympic team hopefuls, Life Takes Visa. And by Venus Razors, reveal the goddess in you. We're in St. Paul, Minnesota, two years out from the Olympics in Beijing, and we can all predict less than we think we can. We know that. We've seen that in two Olympics. Sal Troutwick with Tim Daggett, Elfie Schlegel, and Andrea Joyce, who's alongside on her birthday. We have two women who look like they are ready to go for this national championship. Nastia Liukin is two years away from Beijing, but ready to go now. It is a very, very long road, as Chelsea Memel could talk about. She was one of the top athletes, and her dream cut short. She looks fabulous here, though. But truly, Nastia Liukin, I have never seen her look better she started on balance beam she's world champion on that event the only thing that could keep her away from that 2008 plane ticket to beijing china is a major injury mm -hmm. injury that's something chelsea memo mm -hmm. knows all about well and al in some ways uh what is traditionally her strongest event the uneven bars was tonight one of the more difficult events for her and she did it with absolutely no problem so i think it's just an upward hill for her things can only get better in this competition but you know she's a world champion and where does she go from here she said she's taking one event at a time no commitments anywhere else her next event is going to be the beam. She's warming up right now there. We'll check in with her. But we'll move across the room here in St. Paul, Minnesota, to the bars. As you look at the standings, Liukin leads by .55, and that's a pretty decent cushion after one rotation. Chelsea Memel, .8 behind. But with this new scoring, it's almost impossible to predict anything. Now, here's one thing we know of Natasha Kelly from Katy, Texas. She has Mary Lou Retton, of all people, on her side. And what a huge presence Mary Lou is in her gym and in Houston these days. 
Yeah, not only is Mary Lou a part of that, Jim, she has four of her daughters <laughs> who, who train alongside. Well, actually, not at her level yet, but in addition to being a mom at that gym, believe it or not, she's actually the vice president of the Booster Club. So if you're driving around in Houston, Texas, and there's a car wash with a bunch of little girls out there stopping, maybe you'll get Mary Lou Retton's autograph. Now, Natasha Kelly is has moved from the junior rank. She was the national champion last year in juniors. So she has made her move. And what Marta Caroli, the national team coordinator, loves about her is her consistency. She can offer up four events at any time. Double front. And you know, all week long, there's her coach, Dan, and wife, Ashley Baker. They have said she is so unaffected. They say sometimes we have to shake her, pinch her, just to make sure she's awake. But she has big skills. What you will see in her her score, her final score, is a huge difficulty value. What Natasha needs to work on just a little bit is the execution part of her score, but she is consistent through her routines, big scores. Look at that difficulty, 6.5, that's huge. And now Ashley Priest from Westchester, Ohio. She is coached by Mary Lee Tracy, who has proven she knows what it takes to get a gymnast to the Olympic level. At the most recent Visa Championships, she was fourth. And that was probably the biggest signal that this is her time now. This is it. And actually, the qualifying event for these Visa Championships is called the Classic, and she was co-champion. She has tremendous lines, does get a little bit nervous from time to time, and maybe lets the pressure get to her, but her overall gymnastics look, Marta Caroli describes it as an international look. And she knows that scores well in the international arena. This is a look very similar to Nastia Liukin, just the clean lines, nice flexibility. She has difficult skills. This routine just just looking a little bit nervous, not like what we've seen in practice. A little tentative, actually. You can tell the difference between an athlete who's thinking about what they're doing and an athlete who is just doing what they're doing. One thing I do like about Ashley is when we did sit down to speak with her, she was very motivated to place in the top three. I mean, she made no bones about it. She said, I want to come out of this placing in the top three. talking about the next day of competition. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good exercise, but as Mary Lee and LP pointed out, there was a, a, a little bit of tentativeness throughout the entire exercise. Now on floor, Alicia Sacramoni, who recorded a 15.3 in her first rotation. And this can be great. She is, she is debuting a new first tumbling run of Pike Arabian double front. She can jump. <laughs> bit of information the girls now at this level are debuting five tumbling passes not four anymore but five
Murphy, I'm still trying to deal with no more perfect tens, so I don't know if I can handle five tumbling passes. Go, let it go. You just try to hold it. Don't hold. Go. It's nothing to hold back. Very good. Okay. There, there were a lot of corrections there for. <laughs> she didn't hold back on this tumbling pass. Though, Tim. No, this is amazing. It's huge. Look at that. It's really, I don't think anybody does it like that in, in, in the entire world. She is, she is a tremendous athlete. Three events, powerhouse. You just need to go. You try to do something. 15.3 for Sacramoni, 15.1 for Ashley Priest. And Nasia Liu can get set for her turn to come under the watchful eye of her gold medal winning dad. And we have fathers all across the room, in fact. Chelsea Memo, coached by her father. She gets set to go on beam. Okay. Take a Just like you know how to do this again. Okay? Just like at Worlds. Take your time. You do a beautiful routine. Okay? Have fun. That's fascinating. Have fun. Oh, and by the way, get your mind to the place where you were when you were the best in the world. Dad to daughter. Back after this. We're back in St. Paul, Minnesota with thousands and thousands of fathers and moms wondering, how do they do it? How is it possible that the parent of a teenager could be the coach on a full-time, everyday basis of a world championship athlete like Chelsea Memel? Or Nastia Liukin with her gold medal winning father, Valery Liukin. One comes from West Dallas, Wisconsin. This duo transplanted from the Soviet Union, now from a place called Plano. Nasty is a very smart girl, and she will uh, trust me, and she will understand that uh, what does it take to be a very good gymnast. It's not only winning all the time. A lot of time you lose. This is how it is in a big sport. You lose some time and you, you win a lot. This is what it takes to be a great gymnast. We're trying to do very difficult stuff on the competition. And that's why there will be the falls. You know, and it's going to be hopefully a lot more ups than down. This is not easy to make an Olympic team. It's going to be war. I know that. I've seen this. I've done that. <laughs> be tougher on me but I think that that's good because he knows what my goals are and that I do want to be on top of the world in gymnastics so it takes you know it takes toughness it is hard some days but you gotta um, you gotta go through that and that's what makes you a good gymnast okay big like even sometimes when I know some girls are like oh my gosh I can't do anything right I think having my dad being able to catch all those tiny, tiny mistakes is really what helps me be the gymnast that I am today. That's it. Come on already. Because, you know, the judges have are looking for all those little mistakes, too, and they can spot them out, you know, being that my dad can, you know, tell them apart from a good and a bad. He's able to spot even the tiniest little details out. Show your flexibility. This is what you do. This is what you are. Look up. You don't, you don't want to be regular. Come on, huge. She reminds me, basically, myself. I just hated it second place. It's just the worst it could be, could be for me. So that was one place for me. It's the first. So I can see that a lot in Nasty, too. That little uh, fragile body. But uh, there's an animal inside in that body. To a different father's story. A few years ago, Chelsea Memo was at a crossroads. It was either leave the sport for good or give it another try. Chelsea turned to the one person she could trust and said, Dad, will you coach me? And Dad said yes. Chelsea, here's your training plan for next week. But before I give you it, I love you. <laughs> it's a lot harder than it was this last week. <laughs> 
but this is the training plan that's going to get us to where we're heading. Dad is a protector. I can protect her. I can say, no, you can't do one more. Or I can say, yes, you can do one more. So we have to just balance how many landings we take, how many numbers we take, because we still want to oh, go to that, land. you know, to the next level and get to that next peak, but we have to get there smartly. Parents like Andy know the deal. Instant messaging, boys, acne, <laughs> you name it. None of it's easy. And they chase a dream in the meantime. Years from now, they'll look back with such fond memories, but until then, today, Larry Liuk and Andy Memel have work to do. And this is so unlike fishing. This is not nearly as random. This is all part of a plan. This national championship, the world championships in a couple of months, the Olympics in 2008. Chelsea Memel in so many ways. She has so much experience that brings her to this moment. In 2003, the World Championship team had injuries. They said, Chelsea, come help us. Guess what? They won gold. And then in 2005, she won a gold medal all by herself, best in the world. And her dad, Andy, knows his daughter so well. The comment just prior to this routine was, Chelsea, just like at the World Championships, he knows what gets her motivated. She's a gamer. She gets up for the big events. <laughs> Another big skill, Arabian. No. One of Chelsea Memel's trademarks. I tell you, every athlete, every coach on the floor, you talk about Chelsea Memel, and they all talk about the amazing head of this young lady. There you go. There you go. Come on. Mary She's Lee a Tracy. She called her an animal, just <laughs> just like her dad. She is so tough. And what she does in this balance beam routine, Tim, is everything. She's got every skill. Variety. I like that. Okay, Joe. Watching two women now, Chelsea Memel and Nasi Liu. Good, very good. Okay, see that? If you ask them, do we have to win this national championship, they both would probably say no. No, it's true. It's true. Their goal. I mean, when you're when you're already the best in the world, yes, a national championship, it, it, it's going to go down in the history books, but. These two ye ladies, Chelsea Memel, Nastia Liukin. There you go. They are trying to be the best in the world at the world and then be Olympic champions. That's all there is to it. 15.8, what does that mean? It's a very good score. And, and beyond that, though, at this point in her recovery, she shouldn't be capable of doing that. But she does because she is the athlete, the competitor that she is. Okay, Larry Liukin calls his daughter an animal, a lot like what you said Chelsea Memel is. Boy, that's what it takes. You've got to have sort of a different place that you take your brain to to get through moments like these. A brand new floor exercise routine for Nastia with some new tumbling. She's juggling things a little bit, not quite sure what the outcome will be. not what was planned. She only did a one and a half twist at the end there. Was supposed to do a double twist, but watch this brand new handspring double front. This is awesome.
does. She steps out of bounds. It's, it's amazing her dad. <laughs> right before she went, he reminded her that, you know, make sure that that last step after the two and a half, be careful, don't go out of bounds. I just told you that. <laughs> you can't keep that. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, but you gotta make some changes, right? You gotta kick back, you gotta stand on the floor. This is one time, you need it, but it's okay. I have to tell you though, guys. Right? Excellent, excellent, you take good job. Okay. But you need those tents. It's okay. You feel this? Yeah. Well, why? Yep. Be beyond the tumbling, beyond the tumbling, what she did in this choreography was like a ballet. That choreography was so so difficult she's just beautiful out there and yet as dad reminds his daughter it comes down to tenths and a little step here and a little step there vulnerable is not a word often used to describe Nastia Liukin, but after a 14.7 on the floor exercise uh, she might just be that in these visa championships chelsea memel has moved in front of Nastia Liukin by three tenths and it's ashley priest and alicia sacrimony in fourth so things change there and, and as Valeri Liukin told his daughter it's a tenth this it's a tenth there and she stepped out of bounds and that was part of her problem could be a whole bunch of tenths right here though this is fantastic ball handspring laid out Rudy yow yow <laughs> she makes that look way too easy that is giant you know she does this in training and all the coaches all the coaches except for hers just shake their heads and go god how turn it all how does she do that? She just catapults her body into the air. It's fantastic. L look at you, you see Evgeny Marchenko, Carly Patterson's old coach. He's shaking his head. Everybody is like, wow. Did you see the execution score? 9.7, so close to a 10. And a 16. They're not throwing those around. Now Natasha Kelly from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and training in Houston. Remember we said Mary Lou Retton, a big part of that gym with her four kids. But Marta Caroli, who will be pro the primary person that chooses the world championship team, has said over and over again, everybody knows that this young girl with skills like yeah. that, huge, back with a full, she is able to perform under pressure, very unaffected. It's a quality that, that any gymnastics coach just loves to have in an athlete. And remember, she was the junior national champion last year, has made her move this year. And next year will be interesting. We've been told by Marta that we will see eight or nine more juniors join this elite group. Remember, we have said that she is jam-packed with difficulty on every event, and this might be the most difficult routine of the competition. No it, question. It is just wall to wall. I think you'll see quite a difference in score, though, when you see the actual score for what she's doing versus how she's performing. The only criticism I have is just really slight bending of the knees. Those are things she will continue to work on. Believe me, Marta will be discussing those things at national training camps with her. Very nice. Very nice. So smooches all around for Natasha Kelly. She's definitely part of the world championship yeah, mix. Yeah, I've been on but she covered up really well. So I added the yeah, nice arm. Kept moving, covered up and exactly survived. Well, Nastia Liukin has had her score changed, I guess. She had a deduction for stepping out of bounds, but now instead of a 14.7, she's got a 15. They went three because they went, you're going up three tenths. Yeah, I've seen it. And the well, reason why they can't go four is because of the, the leg up turn. Yeah, that was interesting. I, when I saw the difficulty score come up, I thought it was too low. But Larry put in a protest and they looked at the exercise on, on video, and one of the passes, a handspring front layout full, tuck full, it was evaluated incorrectly. They gave him three more tenths, as they should have, in the first place. 
Natasha Kelly, 15.85. That creates a tie atop the leaderboard now as we go to Chelsea Memel on floor. And she break the tie. Well, just like she always does, solid, Hi, steady. Yeah. Did you just forget that part? No, huh? no launching. Stand up. Really good. Yeah. Good. Nice landing. Something was bothering you. Yeah. Andy, what do you think he thought think, she well, missed? Well, she had a small misstep on the fourth tumbling pass. She's actually increased the tumbling as well. She's gone to five. Now to Nasa Liukin on the vault. And if she has a weakness in gymnastics, it's here. And they know it. Not as difficult a vault, certainly, as we just saw from Sacramoni. But she has been sticking them. Oh, and... Not tonight. And that was very close. I, from our vantage, I really can't tell if that foot went over the white line. If it does... Stop doing that. Why do you always do that? <laughs> you gotta keep the legs together. Well, because you go again slow. You did this again, did you feel it? Huh? Okay. Can't do that. Gotta do it correct. Yeah, he is always talking about doing it correct. <laughs> Says that she lacks some of the power, and they must be technically proficient at everything they do. She's just about as perfect as she can be, though. Chelsea Memel of 15.25. And let's just keep up with this whole parent theme thing we've got from Coconut. Creek, Florida, Jana Bieger, whose mom performed for what was then called West Germany three times in the Olympic Games. Well, there's something to say about DNA, isn't there? Her mom pulling the board out, and actually the entire family went through a bit of a heroin experience right before the qualifying meet, major car accident. Her mom tore some ligaments, will have the Injury fixed, Gianna all bruised up. Her mom said just getting back into the gym helped tremendously to make those bad memories go away. And you know, Gianna is one of those four event gymnasts as well. I would say if she had a weakness, uneven bars, perhaps is that event, but very strong here this evening. Yeah, you can certainly count on this young lady. She just goes up, does her job, you know, Marta Caroli says that everybody knows that she needs a preoccupation on form. Her execution and the artistic level certainly needs work. <laughs> Has to be dealt with every day. That 9.05 no, is that no, execution no. score. <laughs> so part mom and dad and part Dr. Phil. Nastia Liukin did not, in fact, step over the line, but the 14.9 is not up to her national championship standard. Back in a moment. After each of the first three rotations, things have dramatically changed. Nastia Liukin, the defending national champion, she's back by four tenths in fourth place. And Alicia Sacramoni has literally vaulted into the lead. And Chelsea Memel, still part of the mix. And I guess maybe Tim Daggett, L.P. Schlegel, that's part of this new world of gymnastics with the scoring. I guess things can change that, that way. They can, and it's going to change for Chelsea here, though. Not a very difficult fault. 
Remember, she hasn't had the numbers, the training time. She's had that injury, been out of the gym for three months. Uh, but that is exactly what they yeah. planned on doing. Yeah. Just for a little Good perspective job. on that, the vault we saw Nastia Liu can do, yeah. worth a half a point more than that. So again, this is just a Yurchenko full twist. She can do this in her sleep on any given day. It's only worth a 5.0. Then add on to that her execution score of 9.5. So that's a low score, but she has many times competed a double twist, which will add another eight tenths, almost a point to that score. So Nasty Liukin goes to the uneven bars. This will wrap up her first night of competition, and we're back with you tomorrow night here on NBC Sports to see who will win this national championship. And I'll tell you, she has such an amazing repertoire of skills. This routine is almost completely redone. She adds elements and a major release coming up right here. She's world champion on this event and deserves to be. And where the judges will not be able to take any execution scores that. will be on these handstands because oh. she reaches them perfectly. Right there. Just absolutely flawless execution. Beautiful release skills. Watch this, she just floats down to that low bar. Come on. <laughs> Gonna be a huge number. Very nice, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. But watch this. She'll do a full spin on one arm and then another half turn. Very difficult. Topping it out in that handstand position. And look at the flight on this. This is called a Ginger release. Look at the toes. Look at that. Just the smallest tiny break of form as she's catching the bar. Yeah, one more routine. Just half routine, it's enough. Mine's easier than yours. Nasty, just half. Yeah, he's telling her that all she needs to do is half of that routine. Wow. 16.4. Giant. Giant number. I can't do one half. Is double okay? Yeah. It feels like the standings are going to change again. Tips brought to you by Visa. Proud sponsor of America's Olympic team hopefuls. Life takes Visa. And by ADT, America's residential and commercial security leader. We're back in the XL Energy Center in St. Paul, Minnesota. Alicia Sacramoni was leading in this first of two nights of competition. Then Nastia Liukin did her magic on the uneven bars, and things have changed again. So it's up to Sacramoni to provide an answer. Now, they were joking, Sacramoni and Liukin and all the coaches, about they made a deal, and it was, it was sort of funny. But you get a sense of the camaraderie between these young women. Well, she said, I'll vault for you, Nastia. <laughs> you just got to do bars yeah, for me. They're probably even four. Then, what was it like my sloppy? Or? <laughs> well, you, you, took, you took a big step. It's more than 110 on, on, on two and a half. Yeah, he's talking about that floor. dismount again on the floor, going back to that. But this is an event that Alicia has really struggled on, and all week long she was really having a, a very difficult time, just couldn't seem to get it together. Frankly, I don't know what she's going to, to do, do for a routine yeah, because she really hasn't done one since she's Tim, been here. She told us she was afraid of this event. She's afraid of bars. And although she's, yep, she's hitting, but this is, I believe this is not what she came to these championships hoping to do. She had wanted to upgrade, do an extra pirouette and kind of flip-flop these elements around. And the other thing that the judges are being really, really picky about on bars are the handstand positions, the exact vertical, which we saw Nastia Liukin perform so well. That's going to struggle for her, but she hit it. But She's going to be happy. Yeah, that's great for her. That's, that's four for four. That's what every athlete comes out. She knows she's world class on three events. She got through here, though. Yeah, she's happy about that. Okay. When you say four for four, you mean four events in this first day of competition, and she had four hits. She's relieved, oh, okay. but as she also knows, as does her coach and Nasty Liukin, that that is not going to be enough to keep her in that top spot.
was a hit routine. She just doesn't have the difficulty, and she also has some errors in the exercise with the, with the technical execution of the handstand positions. Back to Natasha Kelly. This will wrap things up on this first night of competition. And Natasha's been really solid. She's got that Cajun sound with a Texas address, so the Carly Patterson connections will be obvious for Natasha Kelly, but she's got to be her own performer. I'll tell you what, you couldn't have asked for more. Four strong routines for her tonight. Yeah, little wobbles here and there. Right. But for your first day, it was okay. Yeah, yeah I agree. Fine. This is her senior level debut, so for her first day, yeah. Have to say so. Meanwhile, Alicia Sacramoni got destroyed by the judges. 14.1, but an 8.6 in execution. Did you see that many mistakes? But every time she goes to a handstand, if it's not perfect, it's a deduction. As for Natasha Kelly, she gets a 15.1, so she will be part of the leadership after the first of two nights of competition. It's a huge cushion for Nastia Liukin of 1.1 and Alicia Sacramoni well she can say she survived the uneven bars that fourth event cost her the lead she's with Andrea Joyce downstairs Alicia you were leading after three rotations and then the dreaded bars your Achilles heel what was going through your mind when you got up there um you know I I decided I was like I don't want to be a pushover I want to show everybody that I can be an all-around gymnast so so that's what like got me through my routine just knowing that I wanted to prove to myself and everyone else that I can do the all not just three events. Well, you told us that you wanted to surprise people by doing well on bars. Were you surprised, though, a little bit by the score, the 14.1? Um, you know, I didn't hit a, a handstand or two, and there's, like, little things that I can fix, but um, I wasn't surprised, you know. I know what I need to fix to make it a little higher. How does this help you for the finals? Oh, uh, you know, definitely boost my confidence to know that I can go four for four and not make any huge mistakes, and so that's definitely a good thing. Okay, good luck. Thank you so much. No shortage of personality there. These are the 2006 Visa Championships. We're back tomorrow night at 7 Eastern, 9 Pacific, with the conclusion of the Visa Championships as we determine who is the 2006 National Champion. Coming up next, back-to-back -back special episodes of Dateline NBC. For Andrea Joyce, Tim Daggett, Elfie Schlegel, this is Al Trowick. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow night from St. Paul, Minnesota. Can anyone catch Nastia? 19 women tonight in St. Paul, Minnesota is about a national championship. Chelsea Memel and her dad are an American team. So are Nastya and Valery Lyukin. Only their dream was born in the Soviet Union and not in West Dallas, Wisconsin. Yet today they have so much in common. Daughters coached by their dads. Standing in their way, perhaps, Natasha Kelly isn't coached by her father, yet everyone knows the legend who stops by her gym all the time. Mary Lou Retton imparts the wisdom of her gold medal 
But will it work today? Chelsea Memo has shown the consistency that comes with being a world champion. Injuries now overcome make this a comeback effort. And it's an effort cemented by something only they know. The 17-year-old from Plano, Texas is Nastia Liukin, and she's been magnificent, elegant, graceful, but not perfect. As defending national champion, she is pushed by history and her dad. It's a national championship and a major step in the journey to Beijing 2008. So dads, enjoy the ride because it goes by in a blink. And now we'll see how it all plays out. The relationship between Andy and Chelsea Memo, I think, has to be described as extraordinary. Hey, just like all day, okay? Don't change, take the time, and enjoy it, okay? at the finish line see you at the finish line he said yesterday perform like you did in the world championships taking her back to when she was at her greatest and then there was Valeri Liukin and his I'm daughter so telling her to do it just like you do back home back in the gym hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times is her lead vulnerable we shall see and Natasha Kelly from Baton Rouge Louisiana and training in Houston Texas right, and as job. we mentioned Mary Louretten is here tonight in the front row, and she stops by the gym all the time. But there's only so much you can teach. There are the standings. It is a huge lead for Nastia Liukin of 1.1 points. But in these days of expanded okay. scores, Tim Daggett and L.P. Yeah, Schlegel, you, you sort of think anything is okay. possible in any one rotation. Well, yeah. I, it, a great score is a 16 and a half. It Not used down. to be the best you could get was a 10. So a lead isn't as big anymore. And just to put it in perspective, what a fall costs you today is 0.8. So when you look at Nastia's lead of 1.1, that's not very much. You know, Chelsea yeah. came into this competition battling back from a shoulder injury, and I don't really think they believed that it was possible she could be national champion. She has done so much already. Her career, tremendous ups and downs. Good girl. And what's been so impressive, Tim, in day one of the competition, and so far what we're seeing is the difficulty in her routine and how well she's handling everything with so little training. That's her rooting section up there, all wearing pink. <laughs> Come on. Her dad willing her through this exercise. He told me that everywhere he goes, people want to talk to him about Chelsea's gold medal at the World Championships. He carries a video around with him to show folks what that experience Whoops. was like and that going to be a little bit of a deduction. Come on, Chell. Yeah. Sounded satisfying to Andy. I think I heard your mind, did you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, good start. He said, we heard mom up there in the stands. It can get very, very quiet during those beam routines. Now, Nastia Liukin. And she had some problems in night one, staying in bounds. She has changed her routine around so many times. She says that she's not sure what passes are going to come out. Oh, and that, she steps out of bounds right there, and also that was not the pass she was supposed to do. She was supposed to do a double twist at the end of that. Okay, now 
will tell you what's going on right now. I, I would imagine she's thinking, well, I, I made a mistake and I did this full twist at the end of the last pass. Now she's got two more of them and she didn't change it. So that is an even bigger problem. She's repeated the same element. so much to figure out when you make a mistake like that because you are not allowed to repeat elements. You get no credit for them. see her father who lives through every single movement of every routine he's just totally deflated standing there next to the podium and he won't be happy with this routine <laughs> And when the gold medalist from the Soviet Union speaks in Russian, we have seen that it often comes in times of tension. And right there is, he sees her do that front full, and he, he knows how bad that is, because what's she going to do for her third pass? Back to Chelsea Bevel, who records a 15.2. Is that mediocre? It's, it's just a mediocre score for her. That would relate somewhere in the old scoring system to between 9-1, 9-3 area. Now Natasha Kelly. After the opening night, she was second. This is her first experience at this level of competition at the senior level. She's been very consistent. And she was totally unaffected with what happened in day one of the competition. Just kind of went in there, did her thing. This is what Marta Caroli, the national team coordinator for the women, what she likes about her. She's consistent. She's a four-event gymnast. She can deliver at any moment. She's looking for another four events from her tonight. Another big release right there. Very nice. of a struggle there but that's what you like to see small error don't let it affect you good job way to fight there at the end nice job nice job good job <clears throat> nice start good start coaches dan and ashley baker there and it is just the beginning the first of four rotations for all of the athletes here in st paul good girl nice nice job. beautiful beautiful handle nice. and nasi liukin gets hammered 14.7. That's a huge door of opportunity opening for everybody else. She knows it, and everybody else knows it. Someone like Alicia Sacramoni from Winchester, Massachusetts. And Alicia, step into it. Alicia starting on her strongest event. No question. She's strong, but what everyone's looking from Alicia tonight is whether she can have the same type of competition that she did in night one. Huge first tumbling run. It's a piped Double Arabian somersault. Very difficult. Oh, oh God. Oh. Wow, she landed just, it's exactly what you tell your kids you can't do. You cannot lock those knees on any landing. That was, that was scary. event so this is her time to make up points in the standings
out of bounds. Those are small little errors you hate to give away to the judges. Tell you though, that is scary. When those knees lock like that, that is that an issue for Alicia Sacramoni? We'll have to wait and see. Back to St. Paul after this on NBC Sports. 2006 Visa Championships are brought to you by Visa, proud sponsor of America's Olympic team hopefuls. Life takes Visa. And by ADT, America's residential and commercial security leader. Back in the XL Energy Center, it was a costly floor exercise performance by the reigning world champion, Alicia Sacramoni, in more than just one way. First, she didn't score well, and there looks to be an issue with her knee. Now, during the commercial break, Marta Caroli, who oversees everything in this kingdom, went over and told her coach and Alicia, listen, big picture, if you're hurt, pull out. You'll still be part of the world championships coming up in a couple of months. This is not going to change your status of how we view you as a gymnast, and that's all being weighed right now in the uh, Sacramoni camp. Now, uh, Natasha Kelly put up a 15.7. They were pretty happy about that. On the beam, Tasha. And this lady right here, Ashley Baker, when we were sitting down talking to Tasha, she says, hey, you know what? I went to New England Gymnastics, and when you went to the Olympic Games, I was in a cartwheel -thon to help raise money for you and your family to make it out to Los Angeles in 1984. So she said, there's our connection right there. I couldn't believe it. And Tim, didn't you go on to buy that gym that she was a part of? Yeah, <laughs> pretty amazing, you know, Daggett Gymnastics. So it's a small world. What a great job they have done with this athlete. You know, she had the highest difficulty score in the competition on this event the other night. Because of skills like that. Remember the two scores that you see today in gymnastics. The one score is about what you do in the routine, the difficulty. The other score is based on how well you perform it, the execution. Hi. Now, if you listen to Natasha Kelly talk, if you close your eyes, don't you hear a little bit of Carly Patterson in there? Oh, for sure. You do, and it's it's really remarkable because in addition to having Mary yeah, Lou a part of their gym, Carly Patterson and this young la lady right here started in the same gym in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. We're both there for about seven years, so there are a lot of parallels there. Come on. Can he strong? Can he strong? Wow, well, this girl's an absolute rock. Nice job. Nice job. Good job. Great job. Nice job. Halfway home. Two down, two to go. Two events down and two to go in this night where a national champion will be crowned. And decisions and opinions will be formed about who will represent the United States in the upcoming world championships. Now, Alicia Sacramoni, last we saw, she had her knee iced up. What's going on there? Let's go to Andrea Joyce. Well, Al Marta Caroli spoke to Alicia after her floor routine. She urged her to be cautious. She reminded Sacramoni not to take a risk. It wouldn't be worth it. Don't take a risk with an injury with the Worlds coming up in October. Alicia was checked out by Dr. Larry Nasser. She said she felt fine, and at this point, she's planning on continuing. So much so that she stands right now, ready for the vault. Yeah, she better feel fine, because yeah. this is the event that's going to put the most stress on it, and when you're as powerful as she is, it's, it's unbelievable pressures on that knee. Not to mention the power, but what she's actually about to do. This is super difficult. Everything looked fine there. Jeez. It's like she spit in the eye of pain. <laughs> and yet.
Yeah, Marta Caroli said, don't worry about it, but you got to believe that she also wants to see a tough kid. And to deal with a little bit of adversity like that and come out and do a vault like that, that earns her points in my eyes and Marta's as well. 15.8, the judges liked it too. <laughs> Tasha Kelly gets rewarded with a 15.75 as we continue to try and figure out what these new scores mean. Should you get over? Be aggressive. Don't hold back. Be aggressive. Don't, Don't hold back. That's Valery Lyukin. The Soviet gold medalist, now very much an American, coaching his daughter. It's right there. It's not just that your body is pointing straight up, but what we call your shoulder angle has to be completely open as well. Now to the floor exercise and Chelsea on, Memo. Again, you'll be hearing her dad, Andy. She had a 15.2 on the beam. I'll tell you, one of the things she on, has Joe. really going for Woo. is she's been doing most of the stuff that she's competing today for so long. on your turn from there. <laughs> okay. That's good. I like the endings. You forgot to go out of bounds. Good. Good job. Thanks. You stood that full up. He really comes across as such a calm, hey, reassuring you, force in their, their bond. Yeah, he sure does. I'll tell you. She is, if there was an athlete yeah. that you would need to depend on, it would be Chelsea <laughs> Mamma. One more double, someone said. She managed to do all that tumbling and stay in bounds. <laughs> and obviously the color is pink for Team Memo. That's mom. She's got to be envious of all the time that dad gets to spend with their daughter. 15.25. And again, the 9.25 execution, that means she had 0.75 deductions. Back to Yana Beeger, for example, she had 8 tenth deductions from a 10 to a 9.2. And that's the new world of mathematical gymnastics. Now, Nasi Oluyukin needs to rebound here. That 14.7 really interrupted their world and gave everybody all sorts of opportunities now to attack the national championship that she holds. And once again, in night one, neither Valeria or Nastia was very happy with the landing of this ball. Let's see how it goes tonight. A little bit better. A little bit better. The hop was just in a different direction. Instead of to the side, it was forward. Yeah. And it's slowing. So we funny. get English. <laughs> yes, we get English when things are good. We get Russian when things are not. It's just amazing. I mean, they live by a gold standard. Oh, That's yeah. all there is to it. Every little tiny thing, like that small little hop, 
That's something that Valeri would very much like to erase. He wants perfect, perfectly stuck landings. And he didn't get that, and neither did she. And now she's got a 15.0 to go with her 14.7. And guess what? Natasha Kelly has jumped into the lead of this national championship. How big of an upset would that be? It would be huge, but don't forget, Nastia Lukin, two events left. She's world champion on both of them. And now you wonder, Natasha Kelly, have you looked at the scoreboard? Do you know what the numbers are? And if, in fact, you did, what do you think of being in first place with Nastia Liukin being the world champion in the two events left? Can you handle prosperity? Memel and his daughter Chelsea, the reigning world okay. champion. Is it okay that I went and did that? Yeah. It's like, what do you, you know, what's, what's the deal? Well, as we listen in, what, what are they talking about? Well, I don't they, believe any of that. They protested the score on floor. They think that the start value was incorrect, two tenths too low. And actually, if you just look at the score from night one to this one, I think it was low, even if the start value wasn't incorrect. <laughs> Meanwhile, the competition moves along, and Alicia Sacramoni has to feel like. You know, things are possible here. Yeah, and the biggest, bigger test for Alicia is, can she hit this for the a second night? right there. But see, this is so critical, and I hate to sound like I'm nitpicking, but those judges, that one right there, every time she is not exactly vertical, when she finishes the element, like right there, she is, she's getting clobbered, and... And Tim, she realizes that. She knows that this is not her strongest event. She's actually afraid of uneven bars. She's going to be thrilled that she just got through this event and survived. Yeah, it's, it's actually a great job for Alicia, but that's a hit routine, and it's not gonna see anywhere near even 15 points. And you can see the huge emotional release after every event. That's how much these gymnasts put into it, but she's got a very cool personality. She's a funny woman. Now back to Chelsea Memel on the beam, 15.2. Now on the vault. And she really is not doing a difficult vault. And they came here, they had a plan, they're sticking to it. She could probably do something a little bit harder, but their goal is Worlds. So, for example, Nasia does that vault with an extra half turn. The difficulty value for that is 5.5. <laughs> Very nice. This vault is worth only a 5.0, so she's already a half a point in the hole relative to Nastia on this vault. So what Chelsea's capable of doing is adding another twist to this vault. This is a simple full. She's going to be working towards her double twist again. Which she has competed successfully many times. You know what Andy just said to her? She just said, not bad for a girl. <laughs> How cool is that? Alicia Sacramoni does get clobbered, to use your words, at 14.45. But she got through it, and she yeah. still has the right attitude about it. All right, now back to uh, the world of the Liukins. 15-0 on a 14-7 is just not going to get it done. That's not what they came here to do. Yeah, this can be, we're not talking 14s or 15s, this can be 16, mid-16s. Well, she scored 16.4 in the first night. That's a big score. Beautiful lines. See that perfect position at the end. Where this routine really gets awesome is, is right here, though. Watch this. She's going to do a full and a half spin on one arm. Whoa, and she's off balance. She Added adds, an extra giant. Adds a giant there. But she, oh, gosh. It's like, it just... When she does bars, it just looks fun, you know? And it floats. It's effortless. This time, no words are needed. What do you think is up with her? You think she's just tired, having yeah, a bad day, not concentrating? I I think that it's just a bad day. You know, she the the, the room for for error is so small because her her exercises are so darn difficult. Speaking of difficult, 
How about 1984? How about the gold medal of Mary Lou Red, one of the most famous exercises in the history of the sport? Well, now she's a mom, and her four kids train in Natasha Kelly's gym in Houston, Texas. She's there all the time, and she's watching right now, sitting next to Bella Caroli. What do you think, guys? Does she know that she's the leader? You know what? It's, it's amazing. Her coaches said that she's just unaware of that stuff. Oh, you can't miss that scoreboard, though. Jim Baker told me that, hey, I don't even bother talking to her during beats because she doesn't even hear me. It doesn't get through. Well, no crumbling. Yeah. I mean, she may have hopped a little bit, but she seemed fine. Yeah, I think it was better than the first night. She's hitting. These routines are comfortable for her. Nice it's job, working. Sasha. Nice job. She wasn't even born when Mary Lou Retton had her gold medal moment. How about that? Excellent job. Nice, Bella nice Crowley job. and Marta Good Crowley job. are watching. Nice job. All right, girl. One more. One more. One more to go. Could Natasha Kelly be the upset national champion of 2006? Uh, and that's because Nastia Liukin felt like an absolute lock. Now she gets her best score, 15.85 on the uneven bars. And she is an absolute star on that apparatus. Meanwhile, we can tell you that Chelsea Memel's father's protest added a tenth of a point to her score. Don't know if that'll affect the standings. Natasha Kelly, she gets her score. And we'll see when we come back, when we do the math, whether she still is in front with one event to go. Back in St. Paul, Minnesota, Natasha Kelly is leading this 2006 Visa Championships over Nastia Liukin, and that is big-time news. Now, Chelsea Memel was in fifth, and she's been okay, not up to her world championship standard in this comeback from injury. She just wants to show Marta Caroli and USA Gymnastics that she's okay and, and good to go for the world championships that are coming up, right? Uh, she's done way more than that. She was out really for about three and a half months. Just did her first full bar routine about a week ago. And it looks like that with one week. It helps that you are a former world champion on this event though. You know, Chelsea has so much experience. She said when she started working bars again, everything came back so easily. Not a problem. That's a walk in the park for her. Hey. Hey. Good for you, Thanks. Very good. Nice start. Nice start. There you go. And this is the end for her. Yeah. So what he's talking about is that this is a nice start to the big journey. Number 10 routine, very successful. <laughs> oh. A little hi to mom and her fans. She's so popular. And remember, the one thing about Chelsea, she didn't get to go to the Olympics in 2004. Injury prevented that. So that's that's the gaping hole that's part of this dream. Now back to Yana Bieger on Flora.
You know, Yana having another very good night of gymnastics and she's proving to Marta Crowley, hey, pick me, I can go anytime. No major mistakes, and on a night like this, when mistakes are being made, that's what you need to do. Yeah, not just tonight, though. The first night, no mistakes either. Session. Session in German, okay. really good. <laughs> on Chelsea Memo, 15.45. Yeah. Doing okay. Doing okay. In the big picture. Meanwhile, Natasha Kelly is still to come on vault. Nastia Liukin on beam. That's all we have now to determine who's going to be the 2006 Visa National Champion. Could you have a look that's more intense? Let's go to the home of USA Gymnastics, Indianapolis, Indiana. Let's reveal the goddess in you. Well, it's come down to one last performance for Natasha Kelly, who leads, and Valery Lyukin's daughter, Nastia, who stays warm as he commands in the background. Natasha Kelly is on the vault. She has had a 15.7, a 15.75, and a 15.4. Even. Even. Solid. And you should see nothing different here. Does a more difficult vault than we've seen from most of the competitors. She'll do that double twist. It'll have a maximum difficulty score of 5.8. Biggest vault of her life. But not her best tonight. No, not her best, but I'll tell you. It'll work. It'll work. Still could be stronger, but it'll work. Nice job. Hey. Well, it'll work Eight to put grade. the pressure That's on Nastia Liu. Oh, well, no, no job. question. You did your job. All right? Nice meet. All right. Nice meet. I, oh, I would fantastic. say that was, that was a, Exceptional. a re remarkable meet. Yeah. The slight they, understatement. They have got to be thrilled with her performance. First time on the senior so stage better, at the national remember. championships. Eight for eight. Fantastic job. She was calm, she just, she did her thing. Gotta love it. Well, the judges didn't love it. 14.85, that's her lowest score. So what does that mean for Nastia Liukin? Well, it means she needs better than a 15.05 on the balance beam to win the title. It is the balance beam. It's, it's scary, it's hard, but she is the world champion on the balance beam. But she has been struggling tonight as well. First night of competition, she scored a 16.3. So this really shouldn't be a yeah. problem. Very, very capable. She had only four tenths deducted in that exercise. The lowest, I believe, of any athlete. But it's all, it's the beam, you know, it's... <laughs> and it's the skill coming up right here. Four inches wide. Oh! Wow! Wow! What a save! Now, was that a big enough mistake to put this yeah. national championship in jeopardy? Well... <laughs> when you grasp not, the beam, not. it's a five-tenth deduction. When you physically bend down and grasp that beam. In the old days, that was a fall. That's how much a fall was worth. And she has a lot more to get through, but staying on that beam might help her to retain her national title. Well, if you could erase that mistake at the top of the exercise, after that point, this routine has been as perfect as you can be. So, Elfie, let's just review. Her touching the beam and not falling off saves her three-tenths. It's, it's eight-tenths and five-tenths. That is correct. That was a five-tenth deduction. So that was a three-tenth of a point saved by her in the middle of that routine. And you see, Dad is, 
He's not doing his usual. You know, and off comes the microphone. <laughs> Yikes. She doesn't look like she's just won anything, that's for sure. Being consoled by another Woga coach, Yevgeny Marchenko, Carly Patterson's personal coach. And again, they're talking Russian. And that's usually when things are bad. So now everyone's waiting. What's the number going to be? Where do I stand? You know, it's it's going to be close, but I can't imagine. I mean, that routine was so beautiful after that error. If if the judges... Oh, Tim, <laughs> that was icy. Yikes. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, he said it. He said, nothing I hated more than coming in second, second place. And my daughter is exactly the same. And everybody's waiting for the same news. All right, so damage control. 15.55 she's going to do it she's going to win this national championship and you know what that bend down to prevent herself from falling off the beam is going to be the difference and Natasha Kelly knows she just missed but more importantly she's proven to herself and she's proven to the people who look to the future of the USA gymnastics program to the world championships and the Olympics in Beijing that she can do this So finally, a little bit of a smile from Nastia Liuk, and she's going to defend her national championship. And now she goes into the books, back-to-back -back national champion of the United States of America. Not bad for a kid that was born in Moscow, Russia, and now dad is dad again. He puts the, uh, the mad coach, the frustrated coach, aside for a moment. And he knows how tight this can be. She lost the world championships to Chelsea Memo by one one thousandth of a point. And she's going to win in the final numbers by five tenths. Jana Beeger will finish third, so a good finish. But let's find out what's going on in the mind of Nastia Liuk and Andrea Joyce. Second straight national all-around title for Nastia, but tonight you look like a sad champion. Your thoughts on how things went down tonight? Well, I guess obviously it wasn't like like yesterday or I mean sorry Thursday but I just had a little bit of a rough day on um, beam probably especially in floor um, I've had so many changes in the past few months and you know changes are really hard for everyone to get used to and including myself so I think just to take more time to get consistent at these scales will help a lot but you were so sharp in day one of the competition was there something else that was different out there tonight um no not really just you know every gymnast has their off days and I guess today was one of mine we have seen all week the special relationship that you have with your dad, but tonight it looked like neither one of you were happy. What did he say to you? Well, obviously when you're not, you know, doing the best things that you can do, you're not going to be too happy, but um, he's always there for me, and I'm always thankful for that. But he always just tells me never to give up because, you know, you just have to keep pulling your way through, and in the end, you'll see where you finish. Congratulations. Thank you. They are some of the toughest and youngest champions we shall ever see. Some burst onto the scene, and some show us how champions win when they are maybe not at their best. Welcome to the world of big-time gymnastics, Natasha. Mary Lou Retton says thanks. We say goodbye from St. Paul, Minnesota. NFL preseason football is next.